Ah, good day, Craig J. I was um, so disappointed about the stream status by other well-known people that I decided I may as well just bore more people by streaming this job I got just a few minutes ago. Ooh, ooh, I actually got that piece. That's rare. Huh. And it looks like nobody's here. Everybody's probably asleep. Europe's half asleep. Australia's kicking back. And America is pretty much completely asleep. Uh, this thing's a complete wreck. In fact, I should probably check to see if this uh, board even works. Uh, the chassis is... Uh, a yeah, nice bend and crack. And this top section is completely cactus. It's going to be a case of seeing if I can salvage anything and then... I've got a replacement second-hand chassis that I'll just swap it out with. I'm a little worried. Uh, maybe the... Um, what do you call it? A little worried the board might be damaged, but we'll see. This is... Surprisingly, this is an original. This has not been worked on before. Which is pretty rare for an iPhone 5. In fact, it's incredibly rare these days. Uh, the battery's all nicely puffed up too, so uh, a nice bit of fire hazard type puff up. Ah, craggy. Normally I shouldn't be do the screen and the uh, board at the same time, the main board on the same magnetic pad. But it's an iPhone 5, so shouldn't mess it up too much. Uh. Well, everything's intact. I'm pretty shocked. Hey Joshua, ITM2, first last. Uh. Jobs like this, I always pass to my son to do it. Yeah, well, I don't think my fair son would uh, have much luck with it. <laughs> uh, that speaker is completely cactus. It's uh, yeah, actually, I'm not sure what impact this took, but it was quite a. Oh, in the wrong window. There we go. Uh, it took a beating. Story about my arm? Oh, what about... Oh, your scratches? Oh, yeah. That's, um, that's what you call snake fever in a cat. He, he was going around the yard earlier today, this morning, and he's been suffering snake fever for quite a while now. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to break him out of it. Anyway... I went to pick him up because he wasn't sure about going through the doorway. And then, I don't know what happened, something happened. And it just caused him to freak out. And of course, naturally, as all cats do, they leave you to the sharks by making sure that you bleed. And they run. So, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't happy about that. That's okay, it's not a bad scratch. It just looks worse than what it really is. You gotta love that about cats. They're happy to leave you to die so they can live. Let's get this battery out. I can't get the. Um, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. If I can find the right webcam control. Yeah, the screen's slightly dead. Ah, found it. We were, uh... Hmm. Interesting, my zoom is not working. That's annoying. 
why aren't you working Zoom? Oh, oh yeah you are. You already were Zoomed. That's why. Oh well. Now, I want to get this board out before I even bother tackling that battery. Well, I'll just leave the battery in there, but this sometimes the batteries you know, we might get puff up too much that you can't even get that shield off. Well, it's got to come off. Oh well, we'll get the hot air gun. The Wagner equivalent. <sighs> Complete with very safe electrical cabling. Yeah, that's only just hanging out. It's all good. I really am not a fan of using the great big paint stripper gun on days like this because it's already so damned hot. That should do the trick. Let's see if she comes out. There we go. And the shield is off. What is this? Is this an original 2012? Uh, the sticker took my date. I can't tell if it's a 2012 battery. Oh, well, probably is. Heading up to Queensland two weeks later. Ooh, okay. Well, thanks for dropping in, madam. I'll get her, John. Orbiter. That's all good. Uh, like I said, I'm only really putting this. I wasn't going to bother putting this stream up. I certainly had no plans for this, but um, I felt let down because I missed all the other streams today and yesterday. I thought maybe other people have to. Oh man, you jammed in there. Well, it's such it's had sufficiently hard impact that it's actually jammed that in no oh, well we'll get that out too but yeah these iPhone 5s do have a lot of screws all over the place but at least they're fairly sort of straightforward other than making sure you get the non-magnetic ones in the right place and the ones that often catch me out of these two up the top here. As you go and reef the board out. And <laughs> is it, no, we're still attached. So, whoops. I've been doing a lot of recording of videos offline. But uh, I keep... The jobs just aren't working out quite so well. I mean, I'll post them up. Um, it's not that I don't succeed in repairing it that's bothering me, it's just that it sort of goes nowhere. Like I had a iPhone 4, an original iPhone 4 to repair the other day, and all it had, at least initially, that it came in for was a um, battery connector fault that like was missing. So I thought, yeah, no problem. So I go to start on that, and then obviously the two uh, sensor pads are missing, and all I've got is a little nub on one of them and I dig down hopefully I found where the veer expands out uh, there's just endless problems and then I found out the battery was a dud for me to test with so I couldn't confirm that my repair truly worked because although I was getting power and booting there was no proof that it was communicating correctly All right. 
So you are the cactus one, and now I've got to take out this one, which is a good one. Oh, actually, this board has a tri-star fault, and being an iPhone 5, I'm not even going to bother trying to fix that. Uh, let's see. I just need my container of screws. Hmm. I need a different container for that. Ah, oh, the Harvey Bay. Okay. Um, Q's tech, yeah, it was my cat. He's got snake fever. He's had it for a couple of months. And he's just really anxious about everything. And I was trying to settle him down outside. And he, he had different ideas about that. He normally does not scratch me at all. It was just an unfortunate case of he took a shock just as I happened to be handling him. <laughs> and yeah, that bit me in the arm, literally. Oh, caught that with my crotch. Probably not a good idea with screwdrivers. Could result in some uh, crippling pain. Normally I keep spare chassis for this, but not today. It's just been a while since I've had an iPhone 5 come in for this sort of repair. Most people just bin them. And I usually encourage them to do that too. Uh, no. I, mean, I think they're still perfectly good phones, but once they get beyond a certain level of faults, it's hard to convince people that it's even worth repairing them. It's like, get the data off, put it into the donor pile, walk away. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'll try and put the other videos that I've been doing up. I'm just going to have to edit them to make them seem like they're reasonably coherent. For goodness sake. Gotcha. Alright, I just need to mark this one to put it into my pile of known working boards. Battery can go in the bin, where well, hopefully it will not ignite before I'm ready. And because I know this one works, it kind of saves me a fair bit of time. Uh, just got to get this sticker off it because the person's name on the back there is no longer relevant. There. Let's get the alcohol off that later. Uh, let's see what things... Uh, this has got water damage on it, so I should have a look. Mm. 
We can see there's either a piece of junk or there's corrosion on some of the pins. Hey, from the ashes. Yeah, he's um, he's one of those cats that got uh, feline. Um, what do you call it? Feline herpes or whatever. As a young kid, and so ever since then, he's always been a bit sensitive. Uh, we go out of our way to, you know, maintain a fairly stable environment around here as much as we can. You know, and you get special treatment, and we've always got uh, stock of. Uh, you can. There's a stuff called Philly Way that we get here in Australia. And it's just a synthetic, synthesized hormone that pacifies them. And it just works with a disperser, a thermal disperser. Was that? Uh, uh. It's a little on the bright side, isn't it? Yeah. I've really got a upgrade to a HDMI capture at some point so I can finally put the USB mouse on this and control what's happening and adjust all the parameters. I can't seem to adjust the parameters for these microscope cameras through Linux. I can bring up all the parameters, I can see what they are but I just can't adjust them. I try and it just sort of says no, can't do it buddy. Well, other than the sticker being red, it doesn't look like it's. Let's have a look. It doesn't really look like it has true visible damage. That Wi Fi chip's a little uh, cooked looking. Uh, so much hair. But, and we've got a bug. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. We'll stick it in the new case and see how it goes. <laughs> supposed to get this done within 45 minutes and that's not really a big ask so we should be able to do it ah. just checking to see if there's any impurities on the yep there are anyone got a preferred method for clearing out these camera lenses so you see what I mean. <laughs> see, we've got the dust there. It's almost impossible to get that off. Some of that's on the outside. Those birds you can hear in the background, they're um, galahs. The crazy birds they are. Seriously, if there was a bird to be designated as insanity in Australia, it's galahs. Um, they're, they're like pink. Um, ah, got that thing out. <coughs> they're pink cousins of the sulfur crested cockatoos that a lot of people already know about. Obviously you're an Australian you already know all about these.
but yeah, they're a bit of a nutcase bird. So hence in Australia, if you get called a galah, it sort of indicates that you're a bit of a nutcase, a bit crazy. Alright, let's get these screws in. This the non manic one? Yeah, you're the non manic. Wonder how many put it, people put the uh, magnetic one, or the normal ferrous posts in there, and then have strange compass results. Ugh, give me an iPhone 6, or a 6S, still at least these are better than the iPhone 4 and 4S. Has your cat been watching slasher films yet? <laughs> Would seem so. But lately I've been watching, um, catching up on the 100, uh, which is a series on Netflix. I'm finding it interesting because, yeah, the while the cast and acting and all that's average sort of or normal, the plot paths that they take are a little bit more dramatic than yeah. That would have made things a little bit hard to uh, put the connector back in. A piece of glass. Um, yeah, their plot choices. They're pretty interesting because every time you sort of think, oh, they're not going to do that. They're, they're just going to let this one be a happy ending here. And then, nope, sorry. It's not like it's jaw dropper stuff or anything, but it's just a case of, uh, oh, that explains why that won't fit. I probably watch a little bit too much Netflix. But I sort of get to the end of the day and, you know, I just want to kick back a little bit. And then I put it on. Usually I start watching it around about midnight at the earliest. And then about 3, 4 in the morning I realise I've watched a bit too much. And so at that point I go to sleep. And the vicious cycle carries on. Lincoln dies. Yeah, well, that's no great surprise. But thanks for the spoiler. That's the other thing is I'm not really overly. You don't get too um, attached to the characters, Matt. Well, I don't anyway. It's sort of like, oh yeah. So, so you're so and so. You're so and so. And you just, no, no, you just don't really feel a part of them. You're sort of like, oh, so you die. Whoop de doo. Maybe I'm not attached to him so much because of the fact that it took me probably a better part of a year to just start watching season two. Okay. Have I got that? 
this junk on the camera, seriously? Ugh. Well, we'll test it first before we make any more great commitments. Where is that stud? I think one must have rolled out. This is the least revealing thing I could think of. I'd probably be more concerned if I had a plot spoiler told to me for the other Netflix series, um, Dark. Uh, it's a, Some people have said it's like Stranger Things, but it really is its own storyline. And it's German. And I didn't realise until someone pointed it out to me the other day that um, there's basically no humour in these German shows. Or well, maybe there is, and I'm not picking up on it. It's all... As you get Stranger Things, or pretty much every... Or most American type, or Western type... I shouldn't say Western. Um, most of the shows we're used to watching, they've got at least some kind of humour in the drama. But when I think about it, I can't think of any that was in, uh... Oh. Hang on there. Won't be a second. Ginger biscuits produced by my sister in law. Um, she's an American. And she really does know how to do her sweets very nicely. Although some things I can't quite get to uh, stuff like putting marshmallows in salad or something. I was like, what the hell? puts marshmallows in salads. Or I think it was... Uh, there's just some things that are just a little bit too sweet for me to cope with, I'm sorry to say. But for things like cakes, biscuits, stuff like that, oh yeah, yeah, really good. Overall, I'd probably drop the sugar level a little bit just for me, probably because I'm becoming an old fart or something. I like my bit of coffee. Oh, we've got an apple there, at least that's a start. Lost count of how many series I started watching on Netflix and never made through episode one. Yeah, certainly a lot of them I... I think Netflix is going through a process at the moment whereby it's just trying anything and everything. It's happy to burn money looking for its uh, hook type series, things that you just can't live without, sort of like True Blood for... Um, HBO, and then, oh, what's the other big one, uh, Game, Game of Thrones. Netflix did have House of Cards until Kevin Spacey kind of put a dent in that one recently, I guess. Proven or otherwise, it still made an impact. Uh, let's see. Well, it works. Let's see if we can... Uh, we've got screen issues coming up here, that's not good. Cancel. What the hell was that? I don't know if any of you saw it, but there was like a static type area feel there.
it's gone now. Not sure what that was. A bit of a concern. The reason why it's a concern for me is because if I charge these people what I'm going to charge for the rebuild, and then in a week later it completely dies, then they're going to, right or wrong, they're going to come back and say, well, you know, it doesn't work for us anymore, so we want our money back. Glitch in the matrix, I sincerely hope so. It's a bit of a gamble. And the worst thing is, I then have to, I can't use the screen again. I have to go get it refurbished. Or, I mean, I've got more than enough tester screens here. I don't need any more. So once they take the plastic off and uh, the screen gets exposed to normal daily scratches, I can't reuse it for a customer job. So yeah, it's a gamble on my side. Okay. See, I'm starting to try and clean up some of that gunk on the back plate. This one doesn't look like fingerprints, it looks more like water damage. It sometimes comes off, a lot of times it does not. I don't know what it is about this sort of matte finish that these plates have. Yeah, it's coming off slightly, but not good enough. We'll leave it at that. Let's just focus on rebuilding the screen. So it's certainly not as interesting as doing uh, electronics work on these things, but i got to admit, it is bread and butter. And I'm happy for the jobs to come in. At least I'd... I don't have any competitors in this town for this sort of work, at least not commercial competitors. I've only got uh, school kids or friends, things like that. And they don't really bother me too much because a lot of the time I will get uh, their jobs that haven't quite gone right. Because the only time it does irritate me is though when they say, well, we've already spent so much money on this, can you do it cheap? I said, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> not my fault you spent your money trying to save money. I mean, I understand them asking, but I'm certainly not going to... not going to bleed myself because of their choices. I mean, I'll do a few charity cases periodically, but... It's got to be a legitimate charity case as opposed to a I'm compensating you for your poor choice case. It is the downside of being in a smaller town when your cust you know, when your customers come from the smaller town. It's different if you're in a small town and I don't have a home button for this. Oh, that's what was missing as well. Um, yeah, it's different if you're in a small town, but most of your jobs come from out of town. Uh, i got to go get a home button for that.
Mm. Oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. I put the rubber grommet. Now I got to find a five display. Uh, time to dig through the scrap piles. Ooh, jackpot. Hmm, could have used this whole chassis too. Oh well. Oh, nice. Just pop that out. Don't even need the rubber grommet. It's already perfect. You better fit in there. Don't you dare be one of those displays with a unnaturally small hole. I don't get them very often, but sort of one in a hundred of these I will get, and the yeah, the hole's too small and I can't fit it in. And so then you try and do stupid things like grind out the hole with a diamond bit or something like that, and it never works. Trying to get my okay, it's good enough. Yeah, when I get those ones, all you can do is send them back, which is a pain if you don't have any other spare. Fortunately, I do. Octavia's character is a bit too tough to be believed. She grew up in space, weighs 110, beats the crack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Octavia is a. I guess the whole lot is a, certainly a bit of a leap of faith. It's more just interesting entertainment. Especially at that hour of the morning when your brain's sort of like, oh, just give me anything that's at least not too boring. I would prefer to be watching another series of Dark. Uh, another season, rather. I am curious to see how they go with that, because um, yeah, time travel stuff is always a bit of an issue. It can lead to you getting to the end of a um, season and things are just like, well, that made no sense at all. Well, I guess we'll see how they go. Oh, nice. Didn't need the Vaseline on this one. I'm also curious to see if they bring out another season of uh, Punisher. But, uh, I gotta admit, I'm feeling guilty. I really, at times I sit here and I sort of think, as a younger, younger person, I would have much rather spend all my time trying out new things, learning new things and such. I admit, I'm getting a little bit... Uh, lazy with the personal advancement type uh, activities which is not good because I'll hit my 50s and I'll uh, you do not fit in there even remotely closely what's going on there yeah I'll hit my 50s and I'll be like um, oh I know what you guys were yep. like I don't know anything which is why I'm thankful that I got back into the electronics a bit more. 
due to having to fix up uh, some MacBooks and iPhone electronics issues. I mean, doing the design work for electronics, that's fun as well, you know, it keeps your mind going in a different kind of way. Alright, those are both in. Battery. Where's my battery? That, that, okay. Need some more tape. I've got a whole bunch of reels of that Tessa red tape and also some really fine 0.3 mil tape, uh, foam tape coming in from Union Repair. Hopefully it gets here, well, it almost made it here before Christmas, um, but now at this point I probably won't see it until Wednesday. It's a little bit frustrating because I do have a customer job that I wanted to get out before Christmas, but that's just not going to happen now. So there it goes. You'll learn not to fret about those things because I can't change it. Yeah, no matter how much you screen at the courier uh, service centre, they're not going to get that package to you any sooner. I should probably bring the camera around to the front here a bit more. Oh, sweet Bridget. Uh, from the ashes, yeah, it, uh, for me it was, I suppose for me really it came down to the situation where I had a customer who handed me a MacBook A1278 and it just wasn't charging properly or anything like that and they said, look, just, just try and fix it. Uh, they already, already had some fundamental equipment, like, you know, I already had my soldering gear and my magnifying glass and things like that but that was all for decent sized surface mount but even still I managed to track that one down uh, sort of at the same time also found Lewis Rossman's videos because of looking for the solutions and then yeah, just sort of went from there but yeah I do get tired from it uh, particularly if you get too many hits in a row, whereas I know in my 20s, um, I could just keep going and going and going. You could, you know, get hit down so many times, but just keep getting back up and going. So, not so easy for some reason now that I'm older. Some could call it the burden of knowledge, or the burden of experience. Of thinking your brain has been beaten so many times when you enter these situations that you don't want to go through that disappointment again. The, tr the payoff, I suppose. But then again, sit in front of the TV too much is a completely useless payoff. It's a bit like exercise, I guess. You just. Ah, oh, god damn it. You gotta get up and you gotta do it. You gotta get up and you gotta do it, and you gotta do that every day. Because the days, each time you don't, makes it that much harder for the next time you do. You see, it seems to be a lot easier in your 20s. And in your 30s, I don't know. In your 30s, I, well, for me, I was more concerned about the fact... I spent my 30s worrying about the fact that I was in my 30s. Which is pretty disappointing. And for some reason, when the 40s came around, it was a, some sort of a relief. It was like, oh, finally, I'm in my 40s now. I can just accept that I'm getting older. 
It was in your 30s, you're like, no, I can't let go of my 20s. It's a fine way to waste 10 years of your life. Because everyone's different. Some people don't do that. Come on. And I figure by the time I almost hit 50, I'll probably start maybe feeling slightly like I'm achieved adult status. Maybe. How old are you, Greg? Hey, Leslie. I'm seeing you around for a bit. Hope you're doing all right. Seems to be fitting all right. You know, sometimes when you put these screens back on, you just don't get that satisfying click in. But I can't really see anything to indicate that it's not sitting right. How am I going for time? I've got 15 minutes. Sixty-two. Well, I'm glad you're at least here and still with us doing this stuff. Why isn't this turning on now? What have I done? <clears throat> now we know that worked. <sighs> yeah, just throw stuff on the ground, Paul. And naturally, I don't have a single damn lightning cable in here. Hoping the party season will result in plenty of oopsies for me to fix in the new year. Now, I'm hoping the same as well. I've got a full chart. Oh, okay, maybe their lock button's just no good on this one. I swear, though, I used it and it came up before. Yeah. Did I clip in that properly? Hmm. We'll find out. Yeah, Leslie, I concur with what you're saying. There, a lot of people do refrain from bringing in stuff to be repaired until about the February March period, simply because they're broke. Okay, the lock button does work. It's just takes a bit of a push. Classic flipping iPhone 5 problem. Alright. It's better message this person, see if I can get them to give me their passcode. Because I want to be able to test the um, speaker and things like that. Come on. Da, da, da. Too bad if it's water damage, yes. 
Hopefully it's not that. So I'm real, a little bit concerned about the um, weirdness that I saw before. But I'm hoping that it was just simply a slightly bad contact. Although well, hoping is not really the best way to do these things. 1.02 a.m. That's certainly not right. Uh, at least it's charging. And that way we know that we don't have a tri-star fault. Or at least not a notable one. Okay, hopefully the person's now giving us the passcode. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was hilariously simple. Let me just check that. Huh? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see how we go. Airplane made off. Service provider comes straight up. That's good. Let's see, Wi Fi. My network's come up. That's good. Uh, Voice memos. Okay. We've got no. Helps with the volumes up. Yep. Okay, that works. <laughs> I cancel. You better listen to the. No, 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 you're supposed to work through a different way. Okay, that's working. Cameras. Surprising the number of things you've got to remember to test every single time you do these things. Okay, front camera works. Face camera works. Hopefully I didn't put anything on mine there. Alright, well I think that's... Uh, ring good, ring her off. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so I'll put this one in the invoiceable situation, and then that means I've got to run. Uh, let's see. All seems to work. Thank you. And. Oops, whoops, wrong person. Sorry, TCRS. Compass. Ah, oh, Compass. Who uses Compass on these things anyway? People are scamming me. Compass, Compass. Where do you set the Compass on this? Compass. Oh jeez, I gotta calibrate the damn thing. Well, it seems to be working because north is yep, due north is pretty much back through my chest. Cool. All right. Uh, da -da -da. all right. Yeah, that's going to be fine. The time is wrong on this, though. 
Uh, it's not showing 1.07 a.m. And it's 18.23. So it's not even a... It's not even a time zone issue. It's got the time zone, right? It's like a month behind this one. It hasn't synchronized. 23 December. And it's 18.24. I hate the new time system that I've got for these. Well, it's not new anymore, but when they changed it to this rollover thing, I've got a pain in the butt. All right. Proximity worked because when I put the uh, phone up to replay my recording, I could see it blacked out the screen, so it was all good. So... All right, well, I'm going to have to leave there because I've got to go and write up the invoice for this and then the person's going to come along and pay me. And hopefully I won't hear back from them again for a while. So, so I'm going to leave you guys short, but I uh, appreciate you all jumping in, even though it was a bit of a average sort of uh, activity stream. But I figured you might want some entertainment. Until next time, you all take care. Have a good Christmas, holidays, whatever you're going to be doing over the next few uh, weeks. And uh, I'll see you guys the next time. Take care.